All right. Where did, so I know where I left off because it's only been like a couple days. That's the good news. Last time I resumed after like a, a whole week or something, maybe even two weeks. It felt so long. But now now I know we're in Glitch Ridge, which has really cool music, but it's also very scary to walk around. <laughs> I love this music. I listen to it. Cool music. <laughs> what about you, Vino? Are you mess? Organized mess? Organize? Wow, this house is um not a house anymore, that's for certain. Did I go to oh, there's this one house I can't get up to wait, did I get up to it? Oh yeah, I got out of that house. Bridge. I swear that door looks intact to me. He's <laughs> a mess, but for some reason everything ends up on my computer desk, so I guess kind of organized. That's good. As long as you know where stuff kind of is. Um, recursive looter scooter. <laughs> wow. I love recursive arguments. <laughs> well, first gotta kiss Allison. Um, I guess burn everything. I like that because it's free. And then, um, I guess... I don't know what the weakness of that thing will be. Even Edmar's stuff ends up on your desk. It's like a black hole of stuff. How big is your desk? <laughs> recursive is recursive is recursive. It's recursive is recursive. It's recursive. It goes on and on. <laughs> I wonder how small they went because I can like I can just barely see. Oh, thank you. Hey, Euclid, how are you doing? Thank you for the pat pat. Today I saw my professor making an exponential recursive Fibonacci function. Ah, yes, Fibonacci. <laughs> what a coinky dink. Everything's recursive today. Has your Did your professor make my game? Hmm, I'll do dust on that. I know it's been a hot minute. Did you? Ha I don't remember if you're even here when we when we unveiled Rocket Mew. Have you seen Rocket Mew yet? I remember when we had to use recursion for our object-oriented programming class. Yes, I remember what oop means. <laughs> we used it for our battle system in this RPG we made. It was buggy. Dude, my... Man, it's, it's so common for uh, for oop classes to, like, have you do a game. I, like... I, I've taken two different ones. One at my community college and one at my grad... Or not my... Grad. But at my university. And... Both of them were like, all right, now we're going to do a game today. We all know you guys love games. So I went here. There's nothing over here. Wait, what is this? What the frick? This is bad. Theoretically, the tower should be this way. Well, we still got people to rescue, so let's worry about getting to the tower once everyone's safe. Okay, so I'm still missing some people. College is boring. They give almost new group projects. Really? My college had a lot of group projects. At least one per class. Honestly, though, Acel, you're not missing out on much. Sometimes 
group projects are very stressful depending on the group that you get teamed up with. I wanted to make a Pokedex for my capstone project. Oh, that would have been so cool, Vino. That would have been really cool. Okay, so there's no other side here. So I think I explored fully this one side. Better than a test? <laughs> I mean, depends how much you trust other people. I don't trust other people very much with projects. I tend to be the kind of person who's like, I have to like organize the project sometimes to feel like assured that it's gonna go well. I had one today. Damn, it's exhausting. <laughs> Understandable. Oh no, Rocket Mew. I told you. I told you that if you kept pouting, your face would get stuck like that. Now it is stuck. I warned you. He can't he can't change his face. He's stuck like that now. <laughs> Wow, caught already. Good job. <laughs> it's because he's stuck in place, he's paralyzed. It made it way easier for you to catch him. I should make something now that Rocket Me is here where you can throw Pokeballs at him too. <laughs> Over here, dummy. so many levels. Did we go in the library? Oh. Mona, are you good? You really blew it this time, huh, Claire? Oh, screw you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's be nice to the people we're saving, okay? This is a high-stress situation for all of us. What makes you think this is all my fault, huh? Gee, maybe the fact that every other catastrophe since you moved here has been your fault? Mona, that's really harsh. Ah oh, well, at least I got the chance to see some monsters up close. Yeah, well, show's over. Was the chair supposed to warp with her? It's fine, don't worry about it. Is she glued to the chair? <laughs> that's a plot twist, she's stuck here forever. All right, um, great. Did we get everyone? Not really confirming nor denying it. I don't see anywhere else I can go. She's a mimic! Oh my good, she is the chair. Oh my gosh. That would be quite a plot twist, but it would also make sense why she's so aggravated all the time about being stuck in there. <laughs> she's like, this sucks. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I don't know where else to... Do we still have people to rescue? Where have I not been? Hmm, okay, I'm kind of puzzled, but I will find... Oh! Okay, um... Interesting. Okay, so maybe there's some pathways that I can get through that I am not aware of. <laughs> I want to make a mimic NPC one day. Give me food, I give answer. I have met some like that. They're like, well, if you feed me, I won't try to eat you, and then we can come to an accord, an understanding, if you will. <laughs> it's like, all right, bet. I'd rather do that than be eaten. Maybe I need to go the other way. Did I go that way? Wing whale and helper jelly. Well, I gotta kill the jelly first. Let's do that. And... Mwah! What does lo Lovely Aura do? Lovely Aura, I believe, heals the whole party. Yeah. Heals the whole party. Oh, the Claire one. It also does the same thing. So she basically also has a healing spell like I do. Yeah, I learned that even though they have question marks, they still do the same thing. It might be it's not as effective or something. I'm not 100% sure why there's a question mark. Maybe sometimes it randomly does something else. But so far I haven't seen it do something else yet. So I'll trust it. I trust in it good. Oh, here we go. That's what I was missing. Another recursive looter scooter. So yeah, if I do this, it should heal us all. Yep. The monsters are cute. They are, gosh. It's one of the things that make me feel so bad about killing them all the time, is that they're so adorable. Welcome, welcome! How are you doing? Welcome to the stream! Have a good day so far? We love Mosh here. Why did I have Claire attack? She does like nothing. <laughs> Bestiary really quick, because I like to read the entries. Doing pretty good, just a little tired, so I'll be going to bed soon, but we'll lurk since Barza needs to stay in overnight to process something. I appreciate the lurk! Yeah, don't worry, definitely take care and get some rest. Everyone needs it. I say, having a terrible sleep schedule. <laughs> Rocking to you, still pouting. Are you pouting because Moshi's going to bed and you don't get to? 
Look at him, he's just so angry. Believe it or not, these otherworldly foes seem to be scrambled harpy monks. They've been corrupted to the point that they're unrecognizable. Huh. Yeah, I did not realize that that would be a harpy monk. There's no loot to be found with these scooters, only existential dread. Wait, they haven't been giving loot? Bruh! That's the whole point of looter scooters. Hold on. Hold on. Look, this guy gives the loot. He gives the muns. Bruh. That is messed up. Hey guys! What are you kids still doing here? We're under attack! And why is your shop weirdly split in half? It's times like this when people need adventuring gear the most. Yeah, we gotta arm everyone! We gotta help fight back! I admire your spirit, but have you looked outside lately? Your new location isn't exactly going to get much traffic. Yeah, leave this to the adults, guys. Hey, have you ever wanted to teleport? Boy, have I! Every single day of my life, yes. Well then, here's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Eee. That should be everyone. Now let's see if we can find a way to the tower to help Faith. They give you loot. That gives you another loot. That gives you another loot. That gives you another... <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to pause for a second. Well, this guy just suddenly showed up. <laughs> it kind of freaked me out. Howdy! Y'all like poison? What? Simple question, miss. No, we don't like poison. Why would anyone like poison? Well, that's too bad, because I got you some. Made some poison versions of Dad's underlings. You'll probably run into them later. Should... Should we say thank you? Is that what you're expecting here? We don't have time for this. How rude. <laughs> I really was not expecting that guy to just be there. I was like, well, uh, okay. <laughs> I love that I can heal here. Very sweet music. Alright, so the tower was over here. Oh, good, it's open. Ah. Hello, Paula. Traitor. Late as usual, Galetta. Like the new threads? Job has made him for me. Paula, why the hell are you siding with these jerks? Green Ridge is your home. Aren't these people your friends? Your friends, maybe. I never really cared about anyone around here. Is that why you decided to turn on us? It was a factor. But I have my reasons. You wouldn't understand. You're right, I wouldn't, because it doesn't make any sense. Paula, two days ago we were co-workers. We never really got along, but I thought we kind of had a back and forth. We had banter. Nah, I've always just hated you. Hated the banter, too. You were never as charming as you thought you were. Paula, please, look around at what you're doing. It's not too late to reconsider this. What's there to reconsider? I was offered a spot on the winning team because Javis recognized my natural talents. I'd have to be an idiot to turn him down. If you knew who you were really up against, you'd be second-guessing your loyalties, too. And who exactly are we up against? Yeah, what's the deal with this Queen Verena you and Javis are working for? I've been asked not to say too much. But don't worry, you'll have a, meet a, ch you'll have a chance to meet our boss real soon. Javis is summoning her below the tower as we speak. Not if we have anything to say about it. You don't. Anyway, if you manage to get into the tower, the boys are really looking forward to seeing you spring all the traps, and I don't want to ruin their fun. I'll leave you to it. Later, losers. God, she really knows how to grind my gears. You're telling me. What are we going to do about getting into the tower? That's where Faith and Javis are, but the path's blocked. Good question. Can't she purify it, Melody? Should we reconvene with Province? Maybe think of a plan together? Wait! The basement dungeon! Oh, not this again. 
No, no, hear me out. When I was building the basement dungeon, I tunneled into a cave that's directly below the tower. The central obelisk extends right through it and everything. If things haven't gone too scrambled down there, that might be our way in. Hey, it's worth a shot. Right, let's move out. We need to get to Faith. <sighs> Sippy. My sippy for today is Coca-Cola, because I have a problem, and I can't help but drink all the caffeine. Oh good, I remembered that there was a save here. Okay, this is a good sign. It looks like everything is intact down here. Let's make a beeline for the back area. Okay... Um, I don't remember where, which way it was. Due north. What? Oh. Faith! Chody! Ah, The girlfriends are reunited. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I know you must have been worried sick. No, there's no time for that now, dear. I'm just so glad that nothing happened to you. Lord knows I needed some good news today. One appropriately long hug later. See, I told you we'd be back, Jody, in one piece. Don't assume this means you're off the hook for your little secret lair down here, Missy. But there'll be plenty of time to lecture you later, provided there's still a green ridge to look back to after we deal with your little friend here. Yes, that's the spirit. All we have to do is stop Jarvis and shut down this machine and everything will go back to normal. What are you doing down here anyway? The ringleader of those interdimensional ruffians found a way into the tower's basement and then disabled the elevator so he wouldn't be followed. Normally I'd be alerted as soon as he set foot in there, but it seems like the attack on the town was all just a diversion so I wouldn't notice the break-in. Yeah, Jarvis definitely loves his diversions. Do you have any idea why he might be targeting the tower? Paula said that Javis is still trying to summon their boss, someone named Queen Verena? Yeah, you ever heard of her? Hey! It's Furry Metal Ferret! How are you doing? Welcome, welcome to the stream! Having a good time today? Can't say I have. Wait, did you say Paula? You mean Paula Cassidy? She's working for these people? We've got a lot of catching up to do later. Hold on. I think I might know what he's after. Have you ever noticed the way the tower seems to pulsate with magical energy? Uh, yeah, Faith. I think I noticed the big tower a block away from my house glows bright pink at night. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not just for show. The central obelisk is a giant ancient mana conduit. And if this Verena is even half as powerful as they say she is, then Javis will need a lot of energy to summon her. Precisely. Hold on. If the tower is a big magic generator, how come we don't have villains going after it all the time? Seems like a pretty useful thing to have. Because it's not a particularly good one as far as we know. Its power output is oddly low. But Javis has technology that seems to defy our understanding of magic. If he has a way to turbocharge the tower for the summoning, we're in deep trouble. Look, I shouldn't be letting you in here, but the clock is ticking and we need to find Javis. Follow me. In here? So how are we gonna get in? This looks like a dead end. Oh ye of little. Oh god, I almost used my own name for a pun. That's a slippery slope. Anyway, observe. Wow, I came really close to discovering the secret passageway, huh? Perhaps, but you would have set up about a dozen alarms, so be thankful that you didn't. Anyway, enough chit-chat. Let's go! Welcome to the Guardian's Vault. Home to everything the old Guardians wanted to keep from prying eyes. Wow, this place has been under Greenridge the whole time? Yes, and like I said, you shouldn't even be here, so please don't tell anyone about the vault. Yes, ma'am. Given the dire circumstances, I'm going to bend the rules and let you arm yourselves with some of the items here. 
We need to be ready for a real fight. There are lots of dangerous relics stored here that you shouldn't touch, but anything in a regular old chest should be fine to take. See, I always know, knew you were a cool faith. Don't get any ideas, but all this junk is worthless if we can't use it to save our town. Oh, and I apologize in advance for all the traps and sentries, but you should be able to handle those. Piece of cake! I've also set up this warp back to the evacuation camp in case you need to restock on supplies. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead and try to stall Javis. If he wants to tap into the tower's energy, he'll be on the lowest level. Okay, just be safe down there, Faith. Don't underestimate him like we did. Please, if this scoundrel thinks he can mess with my town, he's got another thing coming. Now let's move out. All right. Well, I guess we should look in the vault first before I buy supplies. Um, yeah, this should be fine. Just in case. Whoa, that also changed our colors. <laughs> Probably because it's dark right now. It's wild. Oh, okay, I stepped literally right on a trap. I'm so smart. Gold armors. Wow, that looks scary. <laughs> hey, Matted Fur, welcome, welcome. Seven months? Let's go, it's been so long already. Wow, has it really? Geez, that is a long time. How you doing? That looks expensive. I know, they're so shiny, and I'm about to ruin them. <laughs> Um, let's see. Let's do Mystery Beam. I like Mystery Beam. Doing okay. Thanks, and you, Am? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Just enjoying my game. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm curious. What kind what kind of room do you got, Matifer? I'm gonna guess organized mess. I think that's the pro the co the the popular answer. Wait, was it immune to getting burned? Hold on, let me try again. Oh my god, they almost killed Melody. I didn't realize that. Wow, that's like the first time I've taken so much damage. Let's attack boost and um, taunt. Okay, they're weak to lightning. That's good. Oh my god, they do so much damage. Jeez. Jeez. Okay. It's single target at least. Yeah, that's true. Thankfully, Jody has all the HP. Organized mess. You are right. Like, it's not a bad state, but it could be better for sure. <laughs> hey, as long as you know where stuff is. Room filled with wires. So yes, an organized mess. Everyone be the organized messes. I mean, I have two PCs and an electric drum kick and VR, so... Okay, yeah, that's understandable. Electric drum kit? That's gonna take up some space for sure. Oh my god, I'm not doing, like, enough damage here. <laughs> Let's do this. Crack in the armor. Ah! Oh, 
Okay, one of them's been reduced to boots. Okay, it's doing way less damage now. That's good. So as long as I destroy them, they'll do less. So, so many wires. <laughs> do you ever, like... Do you guys have, like, one of those boxes that you used to hide wires away in? Just so, like, you can kind of hide some of the mess? Do you know what I'm talking about? I have, like, this, um... Like, under my desk, I have a shoebox. That, like, I put my power strip in. And, like, I pretty much, like... Like, um... Like, the extra wires, like, the extra wire length, I kind of just, like, pull it into the shoebox through, like, one of the holes on each side of it. They actually, crazy enough, I just kind of made this shoebox thing when I was, like, in, in grade school. When I got a computer set up. Or not a computer, uh, a GameCube set up. And the thing is, they actually, like, have, like, actual boxes for organizing cables. Kind of pretty much made the same way that you can buy on Amazon that are not made from a shoebox. <laughs> Nah, but I do have a box full of cables. Never know when you need one. I also have that. I have a box like that under my bed. <laughs> if you ever have an extra shoebox laying around, I recommend it. It's just a great place to, like, all the extra wire length. So it, I, I get, like, it bothers me so much when I have so much wires, like, sticking out places. So I just kind of hide most of the extra wire length in the box. So I don't have to look at it. I have my SNES, 64 games, and a stack of shoeboxes. Shoeboxes are so handy, right? <laughs> so handy. I mean, you get so many of them when you, like, get shoes, right? You just have all these extra boxes laying around. Might as well use them for something. This also gives me scrap metal. I almost stepped on another one. There's a keyhole on this pillar. I assume it move out of the way if you find a key. Okay, I can't just take that. Good to know. Oh, it's empty. Want to bet Javis and his boys took whatever was in here? Man, what the hell could they even be looking for down here? They can't just be stealing treasure, else they would have cleaned this place out. Hmm. Oh, good. Ah! Unhelpful, Jelly. <laughs> That's not gonna be good. You can also use toilet paper rolls to organize wires. True! Very true. I'm looking into getting those Pokemon trading or uh, the Pokemon trading card game, but no one I ask is willing to try to learn with me. To be fair, Badifer, to be fair, um, what theme song does? Oh, you want to see it? It's really fun. To be fair, Badifer, uh, I have a lot of Pokemon cards, but I don't use them to play the game. I just collect them. <laughs> I find it more fun to collect Pokemon guards. That's what theme song does. <laughs> you know Wham, I kinda want to touch Snacko's tail. It is very fluffy and soft looking. <laughs> oh my god, Rocket View. The confessions are coming out today. Tell me more. <laughs> Hi, 
Hey, Snack. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I don't know if you heard that. Probably didn't hear anything, right? <laughs> Definitely did not hear a word. <laughs> Perfect. Snack Hotel do be super floof, though. <laughs> hello, hello! Good to see you, Snacko. There we go. Bruh. Bruh, everything he's missing. This thing must be so fast. My tail do be super floof. Some might say it's the right size to wrap up a very soon meal or something like that. You hear that, Rocket Mew? That could be you. That could be you. <laughs> if you weren't so Tilda pouty. Squee, He's Tilda. so pouty today. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> I heard Mew. Yeah, Rocket Bee is so chatty today. It must be because his crush is here. <laughs> we all know. I'm sorry, uh, his secret crush. We, we don't know who it is. The secret. Could be, could be any snacko. <laughs> Look at that little pouty face. I just want to poke him. Oh, a library. I love burber. I love lab burber. Hold on, before I go any further, um, I'm gonna actually go to look in town and see what I can buy. Yum. Hey, Beverly. Are you doing okay? Look at the other rooms first, I'm curious. Ah, oh, but there's so many. As okay as I can be during a time like this, I guess. It's not easy, but I'm trying to keep spirits high for the sake of everyone else here. Besides, you're gonna deal with this. You said so yourself, Claire. Yeah. That didn't sound very confident. Come on, Claire, you're a professional adventurer. You've got this. You just gotta get pumped up. You're right, you're right. We've got this. We're not gonna give up our town so easily. That's the spirit. Go get him, Claire. Here, I know. I will make a save point. Just Shish in wham, case. you said you would keep that a smekrit. Sorry that took me so long. I randomly get mute for like one minute at a time. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I know that it takes you a, a whole minute, Rocket View, to compose your responses. I understand. So it takes a while sometimes. <laughs> you finished saving us yet? Working on it. We'll work on it faster. I was in the middle of a book when we were attacked, and I forgot to bring it with me. It's a terrible book, but I need to finish it in order to complain about it properly to the librarian. Fair? I'm keeping an eye on the civilians here while Holly and Rhett keep looking for stragglers. Feel free to rest in here if needed, although don't please, please don't dawdle too much. Time is of the essence. This camp doesn't seem like it can hold many people. I know Greenwich is a small town, but there's got to be at least a couple thousand residents, right? I don't tell you how to do your job, so please don't tell me how to do mine. Province, you tell us how to do your jobs, like, every day. Oh, right. Well, only the neighborhood immediately surrounding the town is affected, and this is only one of several locations we've evacuated people to. So yes, this camp is as big as it needs to be. Now what did I just tell you about dawdling? I want to heal a little bit. It's okay, I think it might be allergies. It's spring. 
<laughs> My allergies have been so bad. I'm so glad I don't have to go outside too much. The Batgirl looks cute. She is. She owns a little shop. Hey, thanks for saving us. And also for letting us teleport. That was great. We couldn't bring most of their products with us, but we got some essentials we need to stock up. You wouldn't happen to have any sort of lifesaver discount for people who have saved your lives, would you? Nope. <laughs> okay, let's see. Brace yourself bracelet. Ooh. Survive with just one HP. Interesting. I'm gonna buy one. Magical girl, alchemist, inner beast, spellblade, chronomancer, wave maker. Uh, wave maker is water based attacks. Interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna buy it just to have it. So I like to have all the things. Alright, let's go back. There actually wasn't much to buy, so uh, we're gonna keep looking in the vault for sure now. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can- oops. Let's see what we can find down here. Bah! Cursed tome? Spooky. They must be weak to fire, though, with their tomes, so I'm gonna try that. Heal them, they're undeads. Oh, good, good, good point. Our mold. <laughs> they look like- it looks like the books are like exhaling. <laughs> like bad smell. They look like stinky books. Alright, Claire, take care of them. Yeah, they're definitely weak to the fire. <laughs> nice counter. Bruh. Ha, <laughs> nice. We got counterattacked, bro. Want to know Wham's deepest, darkest secrets? Redeem story time, bird killer, to find out how. I do not have that redeem. <laughs> Rocket V, don't lie to them. Don't lie to the audience. I do not have that redeem. The big fat, big fat lie. Why are you such a liar, Rocket V? Hmm? Ooh. Fighter's headband. I want to see what that does. Wait. Ooh. Oh, I have a mage hat. I didn't even realize that. Interesting. Hold on. Wait, why can I wear the mage hat? Not as cool as Claire's hat. <laughs> Wait, so only... So Claire can't wear the mage hat <laughs> because it's not as cool as her hat? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is funny. Let's see. Her defense is really good with the sports helmet. She doesn't really need magic power, but the magic defense is a little... Mm, that doesn't improve it too much, though, so I'm gonna keep it... I'm gonna keep her with the, the sports helmet. Right. Just like I 100% don't have a notebook with Smekrit Snacko doodles in cute dresses. Ra 
Rocket View. I didn't know you were an artist. I can't believe it. You never told me we could have had you sharing doodles on stream with us. <laughs> Stole it. Who else? Wait, who, does everyone have a secret notebook with Snacko and dresses? I thought it was just me. Who else has this notebook? Hey, welcome, welcome, Foxy. Foxy Kawaii VT, how are you? This is your favorite game? It's a great game, I love it. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Mom, it's not a phase god. <laughs> yeah, you're right, it's not a phase. You are stuck like that eternally. <laughs> You are valid, Rocket View. <laughs> oh, you two know each other. We love Snacko in here. This is a Snacko loving channel. Okay, Rocket View, why did you why did you send give me that look? Is it because I said I love Snacko? Listen, I'm not gonna get between you two. Calm down. <laughs> uh, thank you for the pat pat. <laughs> Rocketme is being very pouty right now, if you can't tell. <laughs> yeah, I have Kurt. <laughs> hey, it's Wes. Hi, Wes. I will hydrate. I needed it. Thank you for the sippy. How are you doing, Wes? Coming by before you crash again? Always appreciated. I always like to say goodnight to you folks who are heading in. Heading into bed. Dead tired is an understatement. Uh-oh. Had a long day, huh? You're really gonna need that rest, then. Make sure to wear your seatbelt then. I'm melting. Hey, Swell, why are you melting? Did someone throw water on you? Cursed cast? What is that? Oh, what? What condition is that? That you just put on her? Excuse me, moi. What kind of condition be that? I am afraid to cast spells now. 30 Celsius, oh my goodness. Can you give us some of your temperature? Because it's really cold over here. <laughs> I would not mind taking a few degrees, please. <laughs> oh. Relax, foolish Harrys. Oh god, duh. They just reminded me that's what they're calling us. I can't believe they're calling us Harrys. This is an outrage. We are not Harrys, we are furries. Use our correct name. <laughs> I'm not here to obliterate you. Not right now, anyway. I'm merely taking this opportunity to do a bit of studying while the monsters and traps do their job. I must sharpen my intellect if I'm to outshine my brothers. Father says he loves us all equally, but I'm sure I can persuade him to love me more equally. <laughs> this guy has daddy issues. <laughs> Technically, he's not wrong. List. I will. I refuse to be called a Harry. I refuse. It just is not, is not the same. <laughs> However, I'm afraid that all of your books are very stupid and bad. 
Wow. Okay. Hey now, some of us would kill to study in a place like this. Well, I'm doing it without the killing, and I'd still say it isn't worth it. Would not recommend. Anyway, please do not attempt to provoke me. My brothers and I promised the bear she would be the first to pummel you, and quite frankly, she scares me. <laughs> Hair and fur are chemically indistinguishable. Okay, but Aesol. It's insulting. <laughs> would you want to be called Harry? <laughs> I was hoping that this book would do something. Huh, there's a book open on this table. And the page number is highlighted for some reason. Oh, this must be some sort of clue from Faith. It's probably a passcode we'll need to remember or something. Well, the number highlighted is 493. Okay, hold on. I need my little notebook. I have a little dinosaur notebook here. One sec. There we go. Um, do 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 empty page, empty page. I prefer to be referred to as cringe, thank you very much. <laughs> that is more accurate. Four, nine, three. Okay. Let's commit this to memory. Four, nine, three. 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 Got it. You're making me feel like we're on a vaguely educational TV show for toddlers with an audience participation angle. Oh, I was wild about those. I'd always hop up on the couch and holler like the host would be able to hear me. I was kind of a pro at the parts where you had to name basic shapes. Claire, look what you did. She's on a tangent now. No distractions! 493, I'm remembering this number. I identify as a mental mess. <laughs> I thought you were an organized mess. <laughs> Okay, kiss, um, fire, um, uh, scorch, uh, barrier. Easy. It's just three numbers. That's where it starts, ASL, and then they add more numbers, and then you're like, oh no, I forgot the first three numbers. And then you're, then you have to go all the way back. I guess I could just be like, hey chat, remember these three numbers. What if someone leaves? That I'm like, oh no, who had the first three numbers? And it turns out they're gone, and no one else remembers. And it's gonna. I'm, I'm overthinking this, obviously. <laughs> 493. 493. Rocket View. It's 493. 394. Don't. Damn it. Damn it. Furry metal fur it. You're gonna mess it up. You're gonna mess me up. One five nine. No! No, it's getting worse! It's getting worse! Stop it! There's a reason why I love the print screen button. I have I have so many things on my screen. You know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I have my Discord open in the background. I'm just gonna message Riffy. I'm gonna message Riffy 493. I'm not gonna explain anything to him. He can he can just look at that and have it. <laughs> It's fine. Remember, the password is Lamburger. No! <laughs> I thought we moved past Lamburger. <laughs> you guys are. Strr. <laughs> you guys are not on my side. You're supposed to be on my side. Oh, Jody got corrupted. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> no, but look what you've done. No, cursed. God damn it. Um, purify. Um, lightning kicks. Um, that ah, crap. I can't do that. I was there when he made it. Aethel, you could have stopped him. You could have stopped him. Why didn't you?
right, before we continue, we're going to take a quick break, guys. So hang on tight, we'll be RB, but hey, feel free to battle me while we're AFK, get a drink, get a stretchy, do whatever it is you want me to do, and we will be resuming very shortly. Maybe by then I can fix Rick Ricochet's broken face. He's just kind of stuck. Stuck. I don't know if he's broken or if he's just literally that upset with me right now. It's not my fault that your secret crush came out. You were making so many comments about it, Ricochet. We'll see if he forgets me after the break. <laughs> see you soon. <laughs> 